Hey guys, this is Anne Marie. I'm Smoking Joe's wife. Uh, just wanted to come in and show you our take on uh, Reuben sandwiches. Uh, we were going to do them actually out on our uh, our grill outside on the uh, flat top, but it was too cold and rainy outside, so we really uh, opted to have to do it inside. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what we've got. Uh, the first thing we have is our Primadella corned beef. And I've got my pan heating. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in my pan and let it heat up. That way it turns out nice and warm when it, it's all done. Instead of putting cold corned beef on a sandwich, I don't, I don't care for that too much. Let me turn that down a little bit. We're just going to go ahead and just keep this tossed and get the meat nice and warm. But as it's heating, I just want to tell you what else we use. This is, like I said, Prima Della corned beef. We also have our imported Swiss cheese right here. And then we have uh, our Thousand Island dressing and our coleslaw. And of course we have to have our Jewish rye on here uh, for the bread. It makes it really, really good. Okay, well we're just tossing the meat up in here. It shouldn't take too much longer just to get the coldness out of it and warm it up some. And we opt to use coleslaw instead of sauerkraut on our Rubens because I don't know that to, to us, the uh, sauerkraut is a little bit twangy. Uh, the coleslaw just makes it a little bit sweeter and we like it much better than we do the sauerkraut. But you know, if you're not a coleslaw person and you like sauerkraut, go for it. Just uh, make it up that way, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna get this meat off here. This should be warm enough. I'm gonna put it up here off the burner for a minute, but I wanna keep my burner going because I have to use that for my sandwiches. Okay, you take your corned beef, warm corned beef, and you put it up on your bread, like so. And we like a lot of meat, so I guess you could tell. <laughs> Especially me, I'm a meat person. Get this where, get it pretty even. Excuse the fingers, but they're clean, I promise. Okay, we got our meat on our sandwiches. Then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our Thousand Island dressing on. And why we do that is because that way it gets into the meat and the sandwiches won't slide this way. I've done it several different ways and I found out this is the better way to do it, so. Sorry, I don't mean to be too loud here. Okay. And we're going to take our coleslaw and put our coleslaw on top of that so it all kind of congeals together. So when I go to cook this on the pan, it won't be sliding everywhere. It's just I've had better luck this way. These are really, really good. This is probably one of my favorite hot sandwiches ever. Joe likes them too. Yeah, he says to me, he says, honey, would you go ahead and make the Rubens tonight for me? He says, I like the way you make them and I want you to do them. I said, okay, I guess I can do that. Then we've got the imported Swiss cheese that's going to go on top. And I like the cheese on this, on top here because when I flip it over, the cheese is going to melt a whole lot better. Okay. Let me just wipe out this pan a little bit of extra meat in here. That way it's not all over the place. Okay, now we're ready to put our bottom half of our Reuben on the pan to get it started. And I have pre-buttered my bread, so you can see that I pre-buttered it. And I put that on top there. And in the cooking process, I will take my spatula and pat it down a little bit where it compacts the bread a little bit better. And that way it'll hold together very well. Okay. May need to 
to turn the temperature up here just a little bit. Let it get rolling here and then we'll show you how it works. Okay. Now you probably can't hear that, but I can just barely hear a little bit of the sizzling there on the pan. I'll let this go on one side for a bit and then that way we'll see if it's brown and then that way I'll know to flip it. But these are super good. We love them. And usually what we do is we uh, put on the side, we put uh, potato chips. We just have potato chips and then um, Claus and Pickles. Well, we love Claus and Pickles. They are the best. So that's what we do with our, with our Rubens. Okay, we'll just get back to these. See how they're doing. You know they're going to be good because it's starting to ooze out a little bit out of the sandwich. You know we got lots of goodies in there. It's not ready to turn yet. I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. I know we did. Of course, all, like always, we always eat too much. But um, we had our daughter and our granddaughter over here. Of course, they live next door to us now. And uh, sure missed our son, Jason. He's in Florida. And um, he's a fireman, so he's a busy man. And uh, don't get to see him too often. But uh, that's okay. We'll get with him soon. Um, Christmas is up, coming up here soon. I cannot believe how fast this year has gone by. Uh, but it's been fun because we've got to do some fun videos and uh, get on YouTube. So let's check out the sandwiches real quick. Now they're starting to brown a little bit. They're not quite ready yet. Got a little bit more to go. I hate to turn them too soon, but it's kind of hard to see all the time they're getting a little brown takes a few minutes yeah Joe and I have switched roles he's actually video videoing me usually I'm videoing him so uh, he's gonna be the one to do the taste test tonight I told him and said I'll make them but you're gonna be the taste tester so You'll get to see him soon. All right, let me check these out real quick and see if we're ready to turn them yet. Yeah, they're starting to brown. Sometimes you have to flip them a couple times to get them really brown, and that's usually what I do. I'll flip them twice. That way they get a little... See, that one's browned really nicely. I think I'm going to move those around in a little bit see how they do like I said these are super good and two now it's on the cheese side so the cheese side will get nice and melty okay I guess we'll get back with you in a few minutes. I'm just waiting for them to brown a little bit more and I'll show you the finished product uh, as soon as they're done. Thanks a bunch. Hey guys, this is Smokey Joe. I just, my wife did a tremendous job cooking this Reuben sandwich tonight. I tell you what, just, I mean, you can't beat what she did tonight. I mean, I, I know it's gonna be good and, and uh, I can't wait to taste test it. So let's give it, a, let's give it a nice little taste test here, guys. First of all, I wanna show you the corned beef and the coleslaw and everything like that, that is a beautiful sandwich. I just cooked to perfection. That's why I had her make them, because she makes them perfect. I'm, I'm pretty good at it, but she's real good at it. So let's, let's go ahead and taste test this. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. I'll tell you one thing. That's the most tender corned beef I've ever put in my mouth. It's absolutely like eating tuna fish. It's so mushy and it's awesome. I mean, and I know the potato chips are good because that, that goes good with corned beef and also the cloths and pickles is added. Like I said, we don't do the sauerkraut because it's kind of tart, but that is unreal. You guys have got to try that. I'll tell you, it's awesome. Coleslaw is a ticket.
the only way to go. Guys, that's all I have for you tonight. So I appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, if you would please, and hit that like button. I need some more likes. And also, there's a notification bell of my new uploads and videos. Please click on that. You'll get to see them. I want to say one more thing. Shout out to my wife. She did one heck of a job on this thing right here. I'm very proud of her. She does really well. She's almost as good. She's really, really good at this. I told her to get her own channel going, but I don't know. We'll see. But guys, if you ain't grilling, you ain't a chilling. And God bless you, everybody, and have a very Merry Christmas.